We're gonna start today's practice in an easy seat. So just find a comfortable spot on your mat. Hands can fall at the knees, they can fall at your sides. Whatever feels good. Take the time to really start to focus on the breath. Each inhale in through the nose. Each exhale out through the nose. On an inhale, lift that right arm up overhead, letting the hand fall down the back, holding on that right elbow, just stretching out that lat on your right side, feeling it in that side body. Each exhale, letting it fall deeper down the center of your spine. Exhaling that right arm back down to the mat. Doing the same thing on that left side now. So inhaling that left arm up high, letting that left hand fall down the center of, the, of your spine. Grabbing that left elbow, just pulling it down a little bit further, stretching that left side body now. Each exhale, letting that left hand sink deeper down your spine. One more final deep breath in through the nose. And on that exhale, letting that left hand find the mat again. We're gonna find our way into a tabletop position. So wrists stacked right under shoulders, knees right under the hips. We're gonna make our way back into puppy pose. So puppy pose is basically a child's pose with your knees on the mat and your hips lifted up in the air. If done right, you can really feel this in the tops of the shoulders, in the low back, really making sure to emphasize that curve in the spine. Forehead can find the mat, chin can find the mat, whatever feels comfortable. Make sure those knees are stacked right under those hips. On an inhale, lifting back up to that tabletop. We're gonna roll down through those toes and on an exhale, curl back, downward facing dog. Just powering up this first down dog. Maybe bringing one heel to the mat at a time. Really pressing that chest wall back towards those knees. Waking up those shoulders, waking up the backs of the legs. This practice is gonna be very similar to the beginner video that I did, just slightly more advanced. So if you wanna take things a little bit further or a little bit less far, um, completely up to you, but on an inhale, walking those feet up towards the top of the mat, grabbing opposite elbows with opposite hands, we're going to take ragdoll. So really emphasizing the back of the neck being long. So really think about relaxing that head, letting it drop towards the mat, feeling the length in your spine. Each inhale, making space in your tummy for each exhale to fold a little bit further over towards the mat. On an exhale, release out of that ragdoll, slowly rolling up one vertebrae at a time, Samus Nt. Inhale, arms go overhead. Exhale, swan dive down, forward fold. Inhale for a halfway lift. Holding this first one, feeling that length. On an exhale, Dropping those hands down to the mat. Stepping that left foot back, coming to a low lunge. Really feeling it in the core before stepping that right foot back for downward facing dog. On an exhale, rolling th through the spine, high plank. Lowering all the way down to the mat. On an inhale, just lifting the crown of the head up, baby cobra. Exhaling that forehead back down. Rolling those toes back onto the mat. On an exhale, in one full motion, coming back, downward facing dog. Inhale high on the toes, exhale, bend the knees, step or float to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold in deep. Inhale, root to rise all the way to stand with arms overhead. Reach up 
before exhale forward folding inhale halfway lift long spine plant those hands step that right foot back now low runners lunge on an exhale stepping that left foot back to meet the right for a downward facing dog rolling through that spine to a high plank lowering down low plank chaturanga arms inhale upward facing dog feeling this first one before rolling over the toes on an exhale downward facing dog feeling the length here on an inhale we're gonna lift that right leg up to the sky for a three-legged down dog on an exhale step it through low runners lunge grounding down through that back left foot inhale up warrior two really thinking about strong and straight arms in this pose that right knee should be right over that right ankle really feeling the length in the arms and the power in the core so not letting that core disengage really keeping it active here inhale we're going to reverse this warrior really feeling the length in the right side body left hand can fall down the back left leg whatever feels comfortable here on an exhale really similar similar to last practice we're going to straighten through that front right leg finding our way into triangle pose like i said in my other video this is a very good pose for a block or anything that's going to bring the mat closer to your hand so you can use a stack of books um, basically anything that's flat that you can rest some of your weight on you can rest your hand on your shin as long as you're feeling this stretch in that right hamstring opening up the, through that chest wall letting the gaze go up towards the left fingertips holding this for a few more breaths really feeling the length both legs super straight reversing this warrior back down so bending through that front right leg shooting that those front right fingertips to the, towards the back wall before cartwheeling the hands down on opposite sides of that front right foot planting down with that left hand inhaling the right one up easy twist gazing up towards those right fingertips really feeling that twist in the spine trying to keep the spine as straight as possible while revolving around it. So try not to bend through the spine too much. On an exhale, we're gonna step that right foot back to meet the left for a side plank. If this is too much, you can always drop with that left knee. If it's not enough, you can always lift through the right foot, maybe grabbing the right big toe with the right, with the right piece fingers. There's a lot of ways to modify a side plank to make it right for you exhale that right hand down back to downward facing dog we're gonna roll through the spine to a high plank exhale low plank inhale upward facing dog on an exhale rolling over those toes back to downward facing dog we're gonna go through all that fun stuff on the left side now. So on an inhale, lifting that left leg high. Exhale, stepping that left foot through, low lunge. Inhale, circle sweeping those arms around, warrior two. Grounding down through that back right foot. Again, thinking of that left knee being right over that left ankle. Strong and straight through the arms. Each exhale should bring this pose slightly deeper towards the mat, bending that knee a little bit more with each exhale. On an inhale, we're gonna flip with that front left hand and reverse this warrior, reaching those back fingertips towards the back wall, keeping that strong bend in the front left leg. Exhale, we're gonna straighten through that front left leg Dropping that left hand down to the mat or to your shin or to a block, lifting that right arm up, triangle pose. 
really feeling the length in this pose. Each exhale should twist you a little bit more into it, keeping those legs strong and straight. A few more breaths right here. Staying super active. On an inhale, all we're gonna do is bend through that front left leg and reverse this warrior back. Feeling that stretch in the left side body before cartwheeling the hands down. Planting down through the front right hand, inhaling the left one up. Easy twist on this right side now. Looking up towards the left hand, feeling the length. Exhaling to intensify the twist. On an exhale, we're gonna step the left foot back to meet the right for a side plank. Once again, a lot of options here. Take it however far you wanna take it. If it's too uncomfortable, you can always drop down to your knee, to your elbow. Each inhale, really thinking about shooting that core higher towards the ceiling. And on an exhale, dropping down, downward facing dog. Really pushing the chest back towards the knees as you inhale that right leg high. Exhale, step it through. Grounding down to that back left foot. Inhale, warrior two. Feeling super strong on that right foot. If you wanna take it this far, on an inhale, lifting up for half moon. So just balancing on that right leg, lifting through that back left leg, Inhaling those left fingertips high. If you fall out of it, come right back into it. If you have something to balance yourself with, maybe a wall, maybe your bed. On an exhale, stepping that left foot back, warrior two again. On an inhale, we're gonna straighten through both legs, facing both toes towards the same side of the mat, coming to star pose. Inhaling the hands high overhead. Exhale, forward folding. In the standing straddle forward fold, there's a lot of options you can take. If you have a block and it's enough of a stretch to keep your hands on that block, you can feel free to do that. If just coming to your hands feels good, you can do that. If you wanna take it even further, you can wrap your peace fingers around your big toes and sink in a little bit deeper on this forward fold here. Really feeling it in the hamstrings relaxing the back of the neck, letting that spine feel super long. Exhaling those hands back to the mat, walking them up, finding that low runner's lunge. Holding for a little bit here. On an exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, step it through. Inhale for warrior two. Feeling super strong in this pose. When you're feeling super strong in that front left leg, shoot that right leg high. Half moon on this left side now. Really inhaling those right fingertips high towards the ceiling. Thinking about the legs being super strong and straight. On an exhale, gently letting that back right foot drop back towards the mat for warrior two. Inhale, straighten through both legs, coming to star pose. Inhale, the hands high overhead. Letting the gaze fall up before exhale, standing straddle forward fold. Same thing on this side. If you wanna take your toes with both peace fingers, if you wanna use a block, if you wanna use your forearms, whatever feels good here. Just really thinking about a super relaxed neck, a super long spine. 
Each exhale should sink your head deeper towards the mat. A few more breaths right here. Walking those hands back up towards the top of the mat, coming to that low runner's lunge. On an exhale, downward facing dog. Powering up this down dog for a little bit. Exhale, dropping at the knees, crossing at the ankles, coming to sitting, just in an easy seat. Holding this pose for a little bit before bringing both heels to the mat in front of you. We're gonna set up for boat pose here. So knees can be bent. If you wanna take it a little bit further, you can straighten through the legs, but really feeling this through the core. Shoulders should be relaxed away from the ears. Back of the spine should be long and straight. The core should be what's lifting you up in this pose. I'll show here. If you want to take it further, you can always straighten th through the legs, lift with the chest. On an exhale, all we're going to do is slowly lower down, straightening through the legs so that just the top of the back and the calves and feet are holding off the mat. Inhale, back up, high boat. Exhale, easy seat. Holding this pose for a little bit, taking a few breaths right here. Exhaling back up to that high boat position. If you want to take it further, those legs can be long and straight, but on an exhale, coming to a low bow. Really focusing on that core. You guys can do it. You got it. Inhaling the hands high overhead. A few more breaths right here. You got it. On an exhale, dropping everything down. Stretching up with the arms as you're stretching down with the feet. Really feeling this good stretch in the spine. A few more breaths right here. Stretching a little bit more. Mindfully bringing each sole of the feet to the mat one at a time. Giving yourself a big, big hug. We're gonna lift back up to a seated position before coming to a butterfly pose. So bringing both heels, soles of the feet to, the, to each other, letting the knees fall out wide. If this is enough, you can stay right here. If you want a little bit more, you can exhale and fold into this pose. So maybe using your feet to pull on, maybe using something in front of you in your house to pull on. Really letting the back of that neck hang heavy if you're folding forward. Feeling the stretch in the hips, in the spine, in the inner groin. On an inhale, we're gonna walk it back up, bringing the legs back together. Bringing the hands to the mat behind us, bringing the soles of the feet to the mat, we're gonna inhale up. Really feeling the chest cavity open in this reverse tabletop position. One more breath here. Exhale that butt back down towards the mat. Come to comfortably lying on your back. Hug those knees into the chest one more time. Squeezing them in. One last final deep exhale. Dropping both legs down, letting the hands fall at the sides. They can be facing up. Coming to our final and most healing pose, Savasana. Letting all the muscles relax. Actively think about the small muscles in the face. Gently falling. If any thoughts come to mind, let them pass softly. Just be for a few moments here.
slowly breathing life back into the body, wiggling the fingers and the toes. Inhaling up to an easy seat. Thank you guys for coming and sharing your time with me. One last inhale, prayer hands at heart center. On an exhale, namaste.